your local election headquarters on CBS 17 News. We start tonight with an astounding number and one that makes history. The U.S. Senate race between Cal Cunningham and Tom Tillis surpasses the cost of any other Senate race ever at $241 million two weeks before the election. It proves just how important the North Carolina U.S. Senate seat is to both parties. It could determine the balance of power and Democrats and Republicans now spending $241 million to secure it. It is a national record, but Tom Tillis has been here before. And we were talking $114 million in 2014. We thought, how could anybody ever beat that? And yet we are over twice that now. The Tillis race against Kay Hagan was at that time the most expensive in history. Now the battle with Democrat Cal Cunningham making history as well by breaking all nationwide Senate campaign records. But Democrats back in Cunningham have the advantage, spending $143 million compared to Republicans' $98 million, a $45 million difference. You look around the country, Democrats are raising and spending money, and that's really putting the Republicans in a hole, not that they weren't already having some difficulties because of the um, at top of the ticket, but this money um, expenditure situation is very dire for Republicans. Most of that money is being spent on television ads, combining all campaigns and PAC money. They've dumped $104 million in the Raleigh-Durham market alone, and to the west of us, $150 million in the Charlotte television market. It's just a sign that the money was already there, and we would have seen different attack ads had not the revelations of Cunningham's affair been made. They would have picked something else to talk about. It's just an extraordinary amount of money in the race. And while we don't know who will win, we do know without a doubt the spending won't stop for another two weeks. So the other place a lot of money is being spent is social media, but it's really not that clear how effective those ads are since most social media platforms use an algorithm that targets those who may already agree or be on that side of that particular political party.